This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, December 25th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Merry Christmas, everybody. Obviously, this is pre-recorded. I am currently uh, making Christmas brunch with my family and, uh, and will not be getting on the internet today. Uh, but it's actually uh, Tuesday, um, and I'm recording this in, in the morning a couple days in advance. When we started doing these videos in March, I don't think I could have imagined that we would record over 200 three to five minute videos in 2020. And here we are, this is video number 206 in this playlist. And it will stay at 206 for 2020. Uh, I'll be on vacation next week with my family, spending as much time as I can with Ailish in the kitchen with my folks or just laying on the couch reading by which I mean napping. The plan is for these updates to pick up on January 4th with some pre-recorded videos taken on our road trip out to my parents' house in upstate New York, and then we'll pick up with live videos again on January 11th. So I'm going to be just a little bit indulgent in this last video of the year. My colleague Molly Hausch Gordon wrote this meditation earlier in 2020, and it encapsulates so much of what this last year has been for those of us in, in religious professionals all across the country. Ministers, administrative directors, DREs, music directors, church staff everywhere. Molly writes, they don't tell you how beautifully and brutally it aches to serve a community. How you love your people like it is your job, it is, but also the greatest gift of this wondrous calling. How you love them and sit with them and argue with them and hold their hearts in yours, and how they love you too, what you let them know of you, and how they argue with you and hold your heart whether they know it or not, and how you lose them one by one, to conflict on Sunday morning soccer and to death who just keeps returning to claim these people you love. They don't tell you that this work is just the work of being human together, which is to say the excruciating effort to love with open hands while it all slips through your fingers, to lose and gain and grieve and rejoice and to do it more rigorously and more constantly than you think you can stand to witness the miracle of the human heart in the lives of those you serve, but also beating in your own chest, the heart that loses and loses and keeps on loving. You know, of course, they do tell you all of it. They try to warn you, do anything but this if you can, but you can't because this ache claimed you long ago, because once you know this terror and wonder, how could you ever choose anything else? Have a joyous new year, everybody. Be at peace and stay safe.